Hello, I'm Lee Natero, and I'm going to show you how to use your TA-8384 calculator to work with the standard normal curve. We're going to use it to draw a standard normal curve as well as find areas under the standard normal curve. And the directions I'll be using will be found in the practice of statistics. First of all, I'm using the operating system 2.55. To see if you have the same operating system, hit second and the plus sign and about. Next, you want to make sure you have your stat wizard turned on. So I'm going to hit mode and scroll down to the very bottom. If your stat wizard is not turned on like it is here, then your screens will not look the same as mine. Next, I'm going to hit uh, y equals and make sure I've turned off any stat plots. Here I'm going to turn plot 1 off by simply going over top of it and hitting enter. Next, I want to get the normal distribution or the normal density curve. So I hit second vars for distribution, normal PDF, and we're looking at the normal probability distribution with a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1. I go down here to paste and hit enter. Before we graph this, we need to change our window. Our window is going to go from negative 4 to 4 because as we know 99.7% of our distribution is within three standard deviations. Here I'm going four standard deviations on either side of the mean of zero. And our y min is going to be negative 0.1 and our y max value is going to be 0.5. And let's take a look at the graph. So here we have the standard normal curve and you can trace over the curve to see the height of the function at various points. Now let's actually calculate some areas under the standard normal curve. Hit second quit and we're going to use the distribution menu again but we're going to use the draw option. So I hit second vars and go over to draw and we're going to say shade normal and we're going to find the area to the left of a z-score of 2.22. This value here stands for negative infinity. I'm not going to change that value although you could type in another small value like negative 100 um, but our upper value will be 2.22 mean of 0 standard deviation of 1 and I go down here to draw and there we can see that the probability of a z-score being 2.22 or smaller is 0.986791 if you want to do other calculations related to this and do more drawings, you need to make sure you clear the drawings first. That's under second program, clear the drawing. And then once again, if you want another one of these, you hit second, vars, go over to draw, shade normal. And now let's find the, the area between a z-score of negative 1.25 and 0.81. So negative 1.25 and 0.81. And of course, if the mean was something other than 0 and the standard deviation was something other than 1, you could change those right there. So there's the graph. And the probability of a z-score being between negative, point, negative 1.25 and positive 0.81 is 0.68538.